You know that old line, men are from Mars, women are Venus? The question is, does it hold when it comes to dealing with stress? Do women let it all out and men go silent? Well, it certainly depends on who you talk to, and it's not always just about your gender. Experts say it has a lot to do with what lies within, like your hormones. Stress can smack you anytime, anywhere, but especially on the job. And depending on what that job is, you'll feel it more than others. Here's a snapshot of the top 10 most stressful jobs of 2012. Cassell James works out daily to hold down his stress. James is a 27-year veteran police officer with 10 of those years in the narcotics unit for the Detroit Police Department. I was the most stressful going into these drug houses, uh, you know, tr you know, perpetrating as a, as a drug addict and, and trying to get out of there without, without getting harmed. So he was battle-tested when he arrived at the Southfield Police Department and placed at Southfield Lathrop High School, where he was confronted by teens and their home problems. It was marks, like I said, on her shoulders, buttocks area, her chest area, where she, I guess, got had, uh, beat with a extension cord. Police officer ranks fifth among the top 10 most stressful jobs of 2012. How stressful has the job been for you? Uh, the job is extremely stressful. I mean, you have to so uh, solve society's problems and you have to deal with your everyday life as well. Jared Wombo is 34 and a 12-year veteran. He's been partnered with men and women. Do you think people think female officers can't handle it and handle the stress or uh, the danger? Absolutely. There's that uh, perception that female officers can't handle their business, but I gotta, I gotta tell you, I know some pretty tough police ladies out there. Also among the top 10 most stressful jobs, firefighters, as we saw during 9-11 and the collapse of the Twin Towers. They rank number two on the list of the most stressful jobs. Glenn Smith is a 23-year veteran Detroit firefighter. Well, one of the most stressful situations I've been on is when, you know, you're on your way to a run, and then you get a um, call on the way that it might be somebody trapped. And when you get there, you see the chaotic situation with people screaming and hollering, my baby's inside. At the very top of the list, an enlisted soldier. With the wars in the Middle East and fear of death, stress is in overdrive. Amber Kelly's husband is in the Army and serving on the front lines of Afghanistan. My husband's in a war zone right now. Of course, I'm scared. You know, I hear the stories. I know his job, especially, he's out there to shoot people and, you know, he gets shot at. That's what his job is. Stress is that monster from within. Doctors say if it comes on too fierce or too often, it can lead to high blood pressure, a heart attack, or even death. Emergency room nurses in the war say men and women serving in the Middle East are treated the same, but their reaction to stress is much different. My battle buddy was um, actually praying, you know, she just laid there on the floor and she was praying. I, I don't think the men would probably start to pray, I'm not sure. Dr. Bella Shanzer is a psychiatrist with the VA hospital in Detroit. The whole idea of, you know, men are from Mars, women are from Venus, there is something to that. We can cry, you know, we can let our stress out. But there is another reason you react to stress the way you do, and it has nothing to do with the sexes and everything to do with your hormones. Biologically, we all have an adrenal cortisol response to stress where our cortisol levels go up and the fight or flight reaction kicks in. And while stress is tough, at the end of the day, for those who are handling it for the betterment of others, it's worth it. Just knowing that he's doing something he loves, that he's doing something that he's really proud of and that I can be proud of, it makes it 100% worth it. Dr. Shanzer says when stress gets so bad, there's always medication for you, but if you don't want to go that route, you should try this exercise. Close your eyes, breathe in through your nose and out of your mouth. It should slow down your heart rate immediately and certainly calm you down. We can use that. You can use it on your children.